questions as we're going through, just let me know. The worms that we use for worm composting or vermicomposting are called red wiggler worms. <laughs> what color do you think red wigglers are? Yeah. Go ahead, show it out. Yeah. Yeah. Red, thank you, fabulous. Okay, so there's no trick questions in my presentation. <laughs> um, has everybody seen worms when it rains and the worms come out and they're on the sidewalk and hopefully all over the, all over the, yeah, some people, okay, great, thank you. Those are called night crawlers. There's four to 6,000 species of worms. Nightcrawler is one type, red wiggler another type, and I'll just talk about those two for a moment. Nightcrawler lives below the frost line and comes up at night to draw their food into their burrow. So they go four to six feet below the surface of, of the earth and, and then come up at night. The red wiggler only goes four to six inches, making it ideal to live in a container, first of all, and they eat different things. They have a different diet. The nightcrawler eats mostly carbon or leaves, and the red wiggler requires both carbon and nitrogen. So the leaves are paper, and the nitrogen is the carbon, and the nitrogen is the food scrap. So that's sort of the main difference. Red wigglers do not live in the soil, but require the microorganisms in the soil to break down the food. They don't have teeth, so the little bugs break down the, the food, and then the worms eat the bugs. So that's sort of the basic difference, but there are, as I mentioned, a lot of different species.